Welcome to my channel Tech Truth Reviews How to Connect a Roku Device to Your LG Smart TV Connecting a Roku Streaming Device, like a Stick, Express, or Ultra, to your LG Smart TV is straightforward, turning your TV into a Roku-powered entertainment hub. Since LG TVs run on WebOS and don't natively support Roku OS, you'll use an HDMI connection. This guide assumes you have a Roku device, if not, purchase one from Roku's site or retailers. The process takes about 10-15 minutes. Below are 7 key steps. 1. Gather your materials Start by collecting essentials, your Roku device, the included power adapter and USB cable, or HDMI extender for sticks, 2 AW batteries for the remote, and, if using a Roku Express, an HDMI cable. Ensure your LG TV has an available HDMI port, most models do, labeled HDMI 1.4. A stable Wi-Fi network is crucial for streaming. Check Roku's compatibility list online, most post-2015 LG TVs work seamlessly. This prep avoids mid-setup frustration and ensures everything's powered correctly. 2. Physically connect the Roku to your LG TV. Power off your LG TV. For Roku streaming sticks, e.g., Stick Plus or 4K, insert the stick directly into an HDMI port. Use the included HDMI extender if the port is recessed. For Roku boxes like the Express or Ultra, connect one end of the HDMI cable to the device and the other to the TV's HDMI port. If your TV supports HDMI ARC, common on newer LGs, use that for better audio pass-through. Secure all connections firmly. This wired link transmits video and audio signals, forming the foundation for high-definition streaming up to 4K. 3. Power up the Roku device Plug the Roku's USB power cable into the device and connect the other end to your LG TV's USB port, if available, for convenience, or a wall outlet using the AC adapter. Avoid using low power sources like a computer's USB, as they may cause instability. Turn on your LG TV via its remote or power button. Wait for the TV to fully boot, LG's WebOS logo should appear. The initial power surge activates the Roku, which will light up or show a brief startup screen, indicating it's drawing power and ready for the next phase. 4. Select the correct HDMI input on your LG TV Grab your LG remote and press the Input or Source button, often marked with a rectangle icon. Navigate to the HDMI port you used, e.g., HDMI 2. Select it using the arrow keys and OK, Enter. Your screen should switch to the Roku's home interface a colorful grid of apps and tiles. If nothing appears, double-check connections or try another HDMI port. Some ports are optimized for 4K. This step routes the TV's display to the Roku signal, bypassing LG's native apps for a dedicated streaming experience. 5. Pair the Roku remote. Insert batteries into the Roku remote if needed. Point it at the Roku device, about 10 feet away, and press any button, like OK or the Roku Home button, with the D-pad. The remote's LED should blink as it pairs automatically via infrared or Bluetooth on enhanced remotes. If it doesn't connect, hold the pairing button, usually on the back, for 5 seconds. Test by navigating the on-screen menu. Pairing enables wireless control, so you won't need to juggle remotes constantly, essential for couch side ease. 6. Set up Wi-Fi and Roku account. On the Roku screen, select your language, then choose Wireless to scan for networks. Enter your Wi-Fi password using the on-screen keyboard, remote arrows make it simple. Connect securely. Roku supports WPA2 for safety. Next, sign into your Roku account. 
go to my.roku.com slash link on a phone or computer, enter the displayed code, and link devices. New users create a free account with an email. This step downloads updates and unlocks the Roku Channel Store, granting access to thousands of apps like Netflix or Hulu. Expect a 2-5 minute wait for verification. 7. Configure TV Control and Test Enable HDMI CEC, LG calls it, Simplink, in your TV's settings. Menu, All Settings, General, Devices Greater Than HDMI Settings, Turn on Simplink. On Roku, go to Settings, System, Control Other Devices, CEC, Greater Than Enable. This lets the Roku remote power on, off the TV, adjust volume, and switch inputs. Add channels from the store, then test playback, stream a free trailer to verify video, audio, and responsiveness. If issues arise, e.g., no sound, set Roku Audio to, auto, or, stereo. Update both devices' software for optimal performance. You're now set for cord cutting bliss. Hope you like this video please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.